All right, let's say that you want to evaluate a certain expression. The best way to do that is on, I said expression, but really technically it's an equation. But best way is to go into these apps, or at least a good, good way. Depends on what you're doing, if it's the best way. Okay, went into apps, and then I went into solve, and now I'm here. I can type in my equation, so I'm going to do alpha y equal... This button will give you an X as long as that as long as you haven't changed it. It'll kind of give you whatever. Actually, it'll give you whatever you did last. So that was a Y. So I'm going to change it. Let's say we had X cubed. Um, X cubed minus three. Now it'll default to X. Huh? That's weird. I don't know why it's doing that. All right, X squared plus five. Okay, so now that is in there. Let's say I now want to find that. Um, let's see if I can get a little bit better zoom here. There we go. All right, let's see if we can get a evaluate that at some different x values. To do that, you actually hit number here. It's like these buttons here, symbol, plot, number, and these over here, help, view, and menu, are all related to whatever app you're currently running. So I'm going to go to number, and I can put in my x value. Let's say x was 37. I can enter that. I just hit enter. And then I can tell it, okay, now give me what the value of y is. So I can hit solve for y, 46,731. Or I could say, well, wait, if that was 50,000, what would x be? So I highlight the variable I want, which is x. I didn't have to leave it. I just wanted to show that. And then I hit solve, and it'll figure it out. Very handy. And if I want to go back to the main kind of menu, I go to this sim symbolic view here, and I could enter a different equation. 